Hello everyone, this is Gary with GameStorm, and this is my review of Donkey Kong for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Donkey Kong was released as an arcade machine in 1981 by Nintendo. It was created by Shigeru Miyamoto and put Nintendo on the map for video games. There was nothing like it out there at the time. I remember playing it for the first time in an arcade and thinking that it can't get any better than this. Of course I was wrong, but it was the best video game in my opinion of that era. Donkey Kong defines the platforming genre and is the first true platformer ever made. So you're Jumpman. Yes, that's right, I said Jumpman, not Mario. Everyone knows that character is Mario, but was known as Jumpman in Donkey Kong. He was also a carpenter and not a plumber in this game. I've always wondered why Nintendo decided to change Mario into a plumber. Anyway, back to the review. So you have a pet ape named Donkey Kong, and apparently Mario has been mistreating him. Donkey Kong kidnaps Mario's girlfriend, Pauline, and carries her to the top of the structures that Mario is working on. And when you finally reach the top, he carries her off to the next level. When you reach the final level, with the rivets, you remove them to make Donkey Kong fall to the bottom and you rescue Pauline and continue playing the same three levels at a higher difficulty. This port is excellent, but not perfect. It is missing a level from the arcade version called the Pie Factory. It is also missing some animations like Donkey Kong carrying Pauline up to the next level when you reach her. Donkey Kong still holds up well today and is an excellent game. It is simple compared to games today, but if you like retro games then you will love this game. This version is a lot more forgiving than the arcade version. The arcade version is considered by many to be the hardest video game ever made. I tend to agree with that statement because from what I remember, as I was lined up to play in the arcade, most people couldn't get past the first screen. There is a movie called The King of Kong about the Donkey Kong World Championship, and if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. But you will see just how difficult it is to get to the last screen called the kill screen. That's when the game runs out of memory and automatically kills Mario, and you can't go any further. I have never been as good as those guys at this game, but this NES port is much easier. The graphics are bright, colorful, and well done for a game made in 1981. The sound is good except for Mario's footsteps, which get annoying. The controls are good and responsive. This is a fun game and I feel safe recommending it to anyone.